Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to just demonstrate my new animatronic prop I've been building. In one of my uh, last videos, I showed the inside of a DigiEye skeleton from Spirit Halloween that's available for $60. Um, so this prop I've been building actually out of two different props and um, as well as some of my own materials. So I'll just go ahead and try and explain really quick about how I've been making it. The skeleton head is from a Costco. Um, they were called newly dead skeletons. And that's actually what the frame is as well. The original standing frame he's on. As well as the pivoting joint, which I'm going to hook up later. Um, those are actually from Costco. And then this head, what I did is I bleached it so it was all white. I took all the original paint off. And I put on five layers of glow-in-the-dark paint. I sharpied in the fractures in his skull that you see. And then for the rest of the black, I used some camo um, paint and Dawn dish soap. So that's how I got this interesting worn and scraping effect almost. Is if you put Dawn dish soap over some of the areas you don't wish to paint. Um, what I did is like here on his gum and also on his teeth. I actually put Dawn dish soap and I put on a layer of uh, spray paint really quick. And then I just sort of rubbed it in or off. So that's how I got this really deep black gunk tar buildup in his teeth. I think the effect came out really well. I'll go ahead and show you in the dark quick what he looks like. You can already see the paint a little bit. With a black light though, it really shows up. So there you can see I turned off the black light and it's still glowing very bright. Even the camera can pick it up, which really just shows you how good the glowing effect is. This is some Rust-Oleum glow-in-the-dark paint. It is very expensive paint, and it's not necessary to achieve your animatronic prop. But I've always been a fan of glow-in-the-dark objects, and I've always wanted a talking glow-in-the-dark skeleton. So His whole entire body actually glows in the dark because I've painted it. I uh, do not have a very good black light, so you can't really see the entire thing, but it is all painted. What I've actually done is the body is from the Spirit Halloween uh, Digit Eye Skeleton, and I've sort of welded and glued, not welded, but um, epoxied uh, different parts together onto the original rotating frame. And... I really am proud of his hand sculpt that I did. Because originally the Spirit Halloween props, they look like this with just sort of a plain, uh, very plain hand. And so what I actually did is I rotated the hand all the way around so it's facing downward instead of upward like this one. And then what I did is I heat gunned each um, point on his finger and slowly curved it inward to get the desired effect. And then I also put quick wood here on his thumb as well as his wrist. Quick wood is sort of expensive. It's $6 for this little container. But it is very strong and it looks just exactly like the uh, bone on the skeleton and you'd hardly even notice looking at it from a distance that that was actually not original. I also stiffened up his wrist and my goal with this is he'll have an illuminated lantern at some point and I'm going to be using an authentic oil lantern so his arm has to be able to support a fair amount of weight from all of his joints so I've been slowly improving upon his actual weight um, holding abilities. 
As far as his cloak, what I actually did is these are very cheap. These are $12 for two. This is only one canvas uh, drop cloth from Home Depot. I'll put links in the description to most of the materials I've been using. If I forget any, just comment in the comment section and I'll link them to you. The drop cloth uh, came out very well, I think. You just need to sit for a while and really tear it up. Take all your anger on the world on this poor little drop cloth and you'll get your nice torn effect. You just, uh, what I did is I, this is um, one edge and I cut a hole just inward here for his head. And I made his head removable as well so you don't have to cut a giant hole in your, um, in your, um, whatever clothing you're putting in if it just has a little hole like this. So I made his head removable in case I ever need to do more maintenance work as well. The, as far as installing the digit eyes, um, uh, I was drilling a one inch hole and then very tediously, um, changing the digit eyes from the skeleton from Spirit Halloween and putting them in this prop and hot gluing them in place from the back so you don't get any hot glue on the front. I think it actually came out much better than I um, expected it to. The eyes aren't perfectly lined up with the edges and I think that's just from my lousy drilling job. As far as the eyelashes or the eyelids go, they're actually very lined up, which was hard to achieve because if they're slightly askew, it'll look like a lousy effect. And if you're standing far back, like I'm going to be planning and having the glow-in-the-dark effect as well as his lantern, I think he'll look very creepy. He almost reminds me of the Hatbox ghost from the Haunted Mansion because that um, figure also has digital effects. Just the way his eyes blink and the way his hand is outstretched really reminds me of that prop. I'm trying to think if there's any other um, things I've missed. The drop cloth really sells it, though, because without any clothing on, he looks much uh, more like metal. Um, and also, for his shoulders, I put in some sponges to sort of pat him to make him look... Um, less droopy. So overall, I think he's been turning out very nicely. I'll put another video on the channel once I have him actually animated and talking, as well as his uh, waist. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments about how I achieved this prop or any questions in general, just let me know. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.